Hey everybody, it's Tony and Jeff from Classic Plastics Toy Store. Long time no see, my bad. Uh, there's been a bunch of stuff that's been happening recently with the store. We just opened a second location in Canton, Ohio, so that's been kind of a priority for us. But we just got this in uh, recently from NECA. Uh, it is the awesome Godzilla. It is the Atomic Blast, uh, which is that is the blast. Uh, as usual, comes in. NECA doesn't have very many packaging choices. It comes in the clamshell. These are really difficult to get into, and uh, they love their zip ties uh, or ties. But uh, packaging is nice. I always like the little backgrounds that they put into it, and they give a full a full picture of the figure put together. Uh, so that's the packaging. Yeah. Set that aside for a minute, and I'll get into the figure. Um, the figure is awesome. I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Uh, so it's kind of hard to do anything bad <laughs> with Godzilla. Um, but there are a couple of issues that I have with this figure. The paint scheme is great, the blast is great, uh, but that this is all the higher I can get him to stand up. And he, like, he doesn't stand up straight at all. This is the all the all the articulation he has, unless you want to take him up on his tiptoes. Which he, and it doesn't give him that much more. Uh, so he kind of he kind of is just blasting the ground. Uh, but that's okay because they have little accessory packs with like cars and tanks and stuff that It's bad if you want him to fight a monster that's as big as him because he's just going to be f hitting their feet um, But if you have little miniatures, I guess it's great for, for scenes like that. Uh, he does have pretty awesome uh, articulation in his tail. There's ball jointed uh, Spots here it goes all the way up to the base swivels here uh, His hips do move his knees move and his ankles move and then his mid waist here moves, as well as his arms, uh, elbows, and wrists, and then his neck in two spots there. So he has pretty good articulation, it just doesn't give very good, um, there isn't good mobility with that. Uh, these are like a soft rubber, these do bend, and how I love the blue, the blue is great, uh, that's an awesome color. Uh, this does come out, obviously, it was out in the package, so you can close his mouth if you want. Um, and I do like, he, his face is pretty cool looking. They did a good job on the sculpt on this. Um, the detail in all of, his, on all of his skin, the scales on the back of his tail here, it's all really nice looking. Uh, he's pretty heavy, actually. I was surprised by how much he weighs. I thought it was a lot of the packaging, but the packaging is super light when you take him out. Uh, he's just a solid figure. And it's part of the reason why he's so hard to articulate. His tail here is also in the way. If the, if the ball joint, if, if I was able to pull the tail up, I, was, I would be able to actually make his body stand up straighter, but that that seems to be the only complaint I do have. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty decent figure. Like I said, I, I absolutely love Godzilla, so it's kind of hard to do it wrong. Um, and I like when he does come with accessories. This is a pretty neat little, little add-on that you can uh, give or take off if, or however you want to display them. I'm probably going to leave this on. Because uh, I don't think any of my other Godzillas have it, anything like this, actually. I don't know, think about it. So, I'm pretty happy with this piece. We, uh, we do sell these, but we only have one available. It's $23.99. If you want one, let me know, and I can get it shipped to you this week. It's a holiday today, so the mail isn't running. But um, if you're a Godzilla fan, you're going to want this in your collection. I buy, I buy every single one that NECA comes out with just because of how awesome NECA makes their stuff. Uh, like just the detail on the toenails there. Is, they do they do such a great job. The price is well worth the stuff that you get. I mean, this isn't going to break easy. This is pretty sturdy. If you if you take the limbs and you move it real fast and you try to go further than it than it's supposed to, then yeah, you're going to break it. But um, it's pretty sturdy, and I am a fan. So if you guys have any qu any more questions that I didn't answer uh, for you, make uh, put a comment down. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you already have one or if you have plans on getting one. And let me know what your favorite version of Godzilla is. Um, I like to... Uh, I know a lot of people hated the, the early 2000s one where they call him the Iguana. Um, like I said, I like Godzilla. He's a giant lizard that kicks butt. And I like giant lizards that kick butt. So, uh, Kaiju in general, any giant monster um, attacking a city is sweet. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. Sorry for the delay in videos. We'll be sure to get these up. We're actually gonna probably make a, an opening video on some blind boxes here soon, so keep an eye on that uh, from Kid Robot. Uh, but you guys have a good one, and we'll see you next time.